Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Kissimmee, Florida for the Old Town Saturday Night Cruise. Old Town is a shopping, dining, and entertainment destination just down the road from Orlando and Disney World. Every Saturday night, Old Town hosts a cruise that brings out hundreds of rods, customs, and classics to this cool place. So joining us now to tell us all about the details is Cruise Master Mike T. How you doing, Mike? Real fine. Thank you so much. And you've been doing it for how long? 14 plus years, Dennis. Every Saturday night? Every Saturday night without fail. We've had two exceptions recently. Two big names that you're well aware of, Charlie and Francis. They kept us away two Saturday nights, but other than that, we're here consistently. So it here, takes, a, takes a hurricane to take you down, huh? That's what it took. Wow. That's what it took. Yes. Now, how did it all get started? This was really an, kind of an offshoot of an event that we did here for five consecutive years called the Auto Fest here at Old Town. It was great. We did about a thousand cars wow. an, uh, annually. And offshoot of that become the Saturday Night Cruise. They, at that time, the uh, general manager, named, his name was Deke Hundley. He has since passed away. He and I got together and uh, came about with this concept. And uh, it's been a winner ever since. It's dynamite. Now, I don't even know how to describe Old Town. What? Tell me about Old Town. Well, it's just a winning combination is what makes it so successful. And we car people love to come here because we're catering to everybody. The, the, the family can come here. There's something here for the children. We've got rides. We've got the A&W restaurant. We've got food. We've got fine restaurants for dining. We've got shopping for the ladies and the girlfriends. And the guys can kick the tires. It just really works. Well, you know, I've been hearing, uh, hearing about it for years. People say, have you done Old Town yet? Have you done Old Town? And, and so, you know, it's known kind of far and wide. Is it, is it mostly regional in its participation, or do you get folks from all over? You get people here from everywhere. If we, when you used to look around Trophy Row here tonight, or this afternoon, you'll see we've got cars here with New York plates on them and Vermont plates on them. A lot of high quality cars, too. Absolutely. Uh, we want cars here to be, to be decent looking fine automobiles, and that's exactly what they are. Now, Saturday night is the kind of 72 and older, but you've, you've uh, expanded into a Friday night. Venue yes, too, right? That's exactly right. Uh, and it is geared at 73 through 87 and newer if they're customized. So we have some fun with that as well. So you've really, I mean, you've grown over the 14 years. How many cars do you draw on a normal Saturday? A typical Saturday night, we do about 335 is our average throughout the course of the year. And it is really a cruise, right? Absolutely, absolutely. These cars come in starting as early as 1 o'clock, but at 8.30 sharp, we put these cars right in the middle of Old Town, the brick streets. It's the old cars are the only cars that, or trucks that ever uses that brick street. No other vehicles. You know, okay, it's a Saturday night cruise. It's mid-afternoon, but there's a lot of cars here. I know you got a lot of work to do, but let's check a few of these out before it's time to cruise. All right? Very good. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Ken, looks like a 72 Maverick Grabber. Is it? Yes, sir. It's actually a 77. 72 grabber clone oh wow so the donor car for this was a 77 mav the actual car is a 77 the donor car was a 72 grabber <laughs> oh, I, guess, I guess that's true you did pull you put them on that's true yeah. so so what all did you have to do i guess you changed the bumper because the 72 yeah. is a thinner bumper that's right that's right the bumpers on the 77 is a really fat yeah they're clunky chrome yeah. bumper that stuck way out these look a lot better and of course the grabber hood mm -hmm. And a uh, bit of a paint job here, a little, yes, little bit yellow, yeah, isn't it? it's almost like banana yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it screams, I'm telling yeah. you, it's, it's seriously yellow. But you've done some nice stuff to it, I, and you have the distinction of perhaps being the first Maverick ever to be on this show. Yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, I, I think they're underappreciated <laughs> cars. That's, that's true. Very nice true. looking wheels. Thank you. Those are Cobra R replicas. Yeah, obviously, you've done some uh, work on the interior. That's not stock either. It looks pretty cool. Yes, yeah, sir. Those are uh, actually out of a Ford Probe, the two front bucket seats. And you've uh, stitched in your, your Maverick insignia. Stair like heads, that. yes. Sir. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. So, you know, even back here, you've done some subtle touches that I think are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. your headlight bezels. Are those powder coated or, they, or your taillight bezels, I should say? Regular painted, painted with uh, actually spray can. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out pretty good. That seems fitting for yeah, a Maverick there almost. You go. It does. That's right. Well, what do you got under the hood? I bet it's not the stock gotta, engine either. No, sir. It's a uh, 302. Had an inline six in it, 250. And you can't run around with a car looking like no, this. No, absolutely not. With a oh, six-cylinder yeah. in it, so I. So I all Mavericks had a hood prop. They didn't even have these right. springs in there. Uh, one yeah. day I'm gonna change it over and have some springs put on that hood. So you've you've added some stuff to that too. You got you know. A... Uh, Edelbrock RPM intake manifold. Uh, it's got a little mild cam to it. 
uh, MSD ignition, hooker headers. Wow. Now these were never known for their suspension either. I mean, no. you've done some work no. there? Yes, sir. I've changed out the front springs to 620 1-inch lowering springs, put some new rear leaf springs in it. After 30 years of wear and tear on yeah. them, you know, they droop a little bit, so I've changed out the rear springs. It, it, Motors down the road pretty nice, handles pretty nice. Yeah, yeah it actually and people does. people see you coming. Yeah, definitely see me coming. <laughs> they definitely see you coming. Yeah. So you having a good time at the old time? I'm cruise? having a ball. That is great, man. Well, you got the yellowest car here, I got to tell you. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it out. Yeah, Mavericks. Yeah. yeah. I hear you. <laughs> well, Bob, it's a really nice tea bucket you got, but it's what it's sitting on that kind of caught my eye. <laughs> yeah, this is a wild rig here. Did you build this, baby? Yes, sir. Me and my friend Jerry uh, had... Uh, Cut the cab apart. It's a 27 Chevrolet. Was it was it originally a hauler or not? No, sir. It was, it was originally a pickup truck. And oh, okay. The cab was real small. So, so you had to make it bigger. That's right. We cut the, we cut it down the doors and we cut it down the center and made it wider and longer to fit onto the uh, motorhome frame that it's sitting on. So it's on a modern day motorhome frame. Right. Now, how right. about the engine placement? Did you have to do anything? We there? had to move the engine back about two feet to keep it behind the fenders where it's supposed to be. In in with the Chev with the Chevrolet frame. That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, it is, but uh, it's a labor of love, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> how I mean, how long did it take you to do? It took 11 months to uh, from start to finish to build the truck. You know, that's not that bad. No, it's not. But you have to stay on it every day. Well, it looks pretty comfortable inside too. It looks like you built it to ride. Yes, sir. Does it, it, does it handle pretty well? Oh, it handles excellent. 65, 70 miles an hour down the road. You don't even know that you you're driving a truck and turn the air on. And it's comfortable. As being in any car. It sure doesn't look like any car, though. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it is a wild-looking machine. Yes, sir. It's, it's different. Sometimes you got to be different to be a little better, you know? <laughs> well, and, you know, you got this matching tea bucket. How nice. Color coordinated and everything. Nice little tea bucket. Like, uh, what am I looking at? A 350? 350 Chevrolet, yes, Looks sir. like you beefed it a little, though. Yeah. It's a little bit of engine work to it. High-rise manifold, dual quads. Yes, sir. And, you know, the tea buckets, they have to make a little bit of noise, so uh, oh, you yeah, want to keep yeah. it stock. You know? No, a stock tea bucket. Now, there's an interesting concept. Well, <laughs> well you tea bucket guys are crazy anyway. I mean, you're all nuts. I've, I've, yeah. I've come to the conclusion. But this is, a, this is great. you got a great place here. You're in the shade and everything. Have you, have you come to this cruise before? We've been to this cruise since 1994. Wow. And uh, it's, it's just a good place to spend a Saturday night. It's, it's every the day of the year, rain or shine, it's, it's it, going it's on. It's happening, huh? It's happening every week. Well, yes. you got to be the only guy here with a color-coordinated T-bucket and 27 Chev hauler, i got to say. Well, I sure hope so. If there's somebody <laughs> else copies me, they got a lot of work ahead of them. Hey, man, great rig. Thanks okay. for bringing it out. It's okay. cool. Well, thank you for taking the time to look at it. Nice work. Welcome back to My Classic Car and the Old Town Saturday Night Cruise. The night cruise was nearing, and a little rain wasn't about to ruin this one. Okay, Billy, I've been doing this for a while, and you got me stumped. What is it? This is a 1967 Gogo Mobile Coupe. <laughs> From where? Germany. And whereabouts? Uh, a little town called Dingelfing. How, how appropriate, a little, a little town. Just, called, what, Dingelfing? Just worked out It right. really is appropriate. Isn't it? And, I mean, this is amazing. How did you come to own one of these? Well, we went to a, uh, an auto auction, saw somebody there that had a very small car, ended up over a chain of events, going to a microcar only show, fell in love, and now I've got eight of them. <laughs> well, you know, it's surprising. It's it's tiny, but you know, there's a lot of room in this interior. Actually, the guy that I bought it from in California was over six foot, and he told me he had plenty of room, so I knew I was safe. Well, I saw you driving in with it, and it just completely cracked me up. But you did look like you fit. That Fits just fine. Now, okay, so what powers a Gogo Mobile? Well, it's a purpose built Gogo Mobile 250cc engine. All right, well, let's have a look at okay. it. Okay. There, there she is. That's the, all of it, huh? The Gogo Mobile small block, <laughs> two cylinders, two stroke. Pretty, uh, pretty heavy uh, oil mixture on it? It's uh, actually 25 to 1, and just to kind of point of reference on a chainsaw these days, it's 50 to 1. I love your bumper so, sticker. Anything more than 13.6 horsepower is just overkill. Well, I've got a funny sense of humor, and I thought that fit. <laughs> it's it's dynamite, though. I mean, I gotta believe that 
that the people just just smile every time they see it. So far, so good. Everybody's had really positive reactions to it. I think people really get a kick out of it because they've never seen or most of the time never even heard of a go-go mobile. So what do you say? It's, it's, it's two adults? Two, adult, two adults, two small kids, or about eight clowns. Eight clowns, eight yeah. Clowns. <laughs> well, man, this thing, is, this thing is great, and it braved the rain shower really well. I love it. Thanks for Thank bringing you. it out, I man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Go, go. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Lydia, a very rare car here. This is a 1971 71 Charger Super B. Right. You don't right. see these anymore at all. Hardly. There are not that many around anymore. A lot of them were just pretty much trashed, yeah. you know, and they rusted yeah. away. But this was also, this was a one-year only deal? For the Charger, yeah. Uh, Coronet had the Super B until seven, uh, till 71, and then Charger did it because Coronet only had the four doors and station wagons afterwards, so they decided to try it with a Charger. Pretty cool car, though. Again, Thank I mean, you. I like it because it's so different. And it's yours, right? And it's mine. It's all yours. My baby. Like the license plate says, it's Herbie. Herbie. Right? <laughs> The yes. stock color that would be butterscotch, butterscotch, and the the brown interior. I like this, and, and you've got a four-speed cart with the pistol grip shifter. Nothing says Mopar like the pistol grip. Ah, uh, you've got that right. Have you always been a Mopar person? Ah, uh, no. Oh, really? Yeah. So you've had you've had affairs with other cars, huh? I've had many affairs with other cars, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but I finally ended up with the best. This so. it's monstrous. It is just really it's, big. It's huge. And it's a. You were saying it's an air conditioner and four-speed car? Yeah. Pretty yeah. rare combination, isn't it? It's a very rare combination. Herbie. Herbie, my wife's last, <laughs> last toy, <laughs> with a question mark. <laughs> there, there could be more, huh? Yes, yes. Man, yeah. big car. How did you come by this? I had a 70 RT SE Challenger, yeah? and I brought it up to Chrysler Carlisle to sell. And there was a for sale sign on this one, so I bugged the guy for three days straight. And it's and, yours. Yeah, yeah, he didn't even swap with me. He you thought I wanted money. So that's why it took three days, and I didn't. <laughs> I just wanted the car. How cool. Well, what Now, what power is it? I guess you got the 383 Magnum, right? Right. Well, let's have a look at it. Okay. Serious hood there, too, isn't it? Yes, it is. And the engine base, same color as the car. That's, that's what Mopar does. That's right. Great engine. 383 is a... Pretty a, much a bulletproof engine. It is. It really is. You can do anything with this engine, and it's fun to drive. Now, you, you and your husband both have Mopars, right? Right. He's got a 67 Coronet RT. Oh, that's a nice car, too. And we just picked up for him, too, actually. But not as rare as this. May I shut no. it? No. Sure. And, uh, I mean, do you drive it a lot, or is it kind of a special car? Well, we only moved to Florida about two years ago, and I used to drive it a lot more in Connecticut than I do here. And obviously you're not daunted by a little Florida shower. You don't care. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Mopars can take it. Mopars can take it. Wipe yeah. it out. You having a good time at, at Old Town? I love it, yes. It's a cool event, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I've been here a few times, but this is the first time I actually brought the car here. Yeah, I don't know why, but I guess I wanted to wait for the rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, thanks a lot, Lydia. Thank you. She's a beauty. I love it. to you. Herbie. Thank you. Herbie. Thank you. Oh man, I had a blast. Old Town really does have it all, and I'm not just talking cars. Next time you're vacationing in Florida, you gotta check out this weekly cruise. It's a must see. And for complete details on everything that's happening down in Old Town, just log on to old-town.com.